Hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with Hurt. How you doing, How you Linda? Good to see you. Up? Welcome back hey. here to The Rave. It's wonderful to be back. What is this, our sixth time, seventh, yep. something like that? So right. we've gotten to uh, play every stage here, so it's kind of uh, fun wandering around this supposedly haunted building. I've yet to see anything. Did you guys see anything yet? I did go on a little excursion this morning down in the basement. It's pretty good. It's pretty creepy. I'm it gonna was go very there. creepy. Except I'm going to go there later at night when it's really dark and... I no, walked through the ballroom cool. upstairs. It's a really historic place, so I had to walk around. That's There's more surprises here, so we're, we'll, we'll get back into okay. the previous times here. But first of all, um, can you introduce yourselves? Yes, I'm Jay. I sing for the band. Paul, I play guitar. I'm Rick. I play bass. I'm Louie. I play the drums. So how's the turban going so far? Uh, great. You know, we, we got a chance to hook up with Sick Puppies and do this dual headlining thing. We're kind of like flip-flopping every, every other night or so. And uh, the fans' re response from you know for both bands for each other has been great, and uh, you know I'm really proud to be out with one of the best live acts in America, and you know so far this has been a really kick-ass tour. That's awesome. So, uh, Jay, you put together Hurt at quite a young age. Is that right? You want to get into yeah, how yeah. it all came about? Uh, you know, I'm pretty useless for everything else ex <laughs> except for. Uh, yeah, sure. yep, thanks. I knew you'd back me up on that. I'll concur. Right. <clears throat> um, you know, <laughs> meet me in the bunk later. <laughs> no, um, you know, I was, I was around 17 when it, when it got rolling, and uh, just, you know, through the years, we've, uh, we've done a lot, of, a lot of things and, you know, met up with some great musicians through the years, lost some great musicians through the years, but um, that's just the way it goes in band life. I mean, you guys had played in a band previously. I mean, I was in a band with Louie. Yeah. So, like years you just, and years ago. You, you kind of have to do this for a living to really understand the way it goes. I mean, it's, it's just, it's a crazy life. And, uh, you know, we're all kind of in it together. So, hopefully, this will be, you know, the last occurrence of Hurt the way it is. And, you know, I say that every time, but like our, our last bass player had to leave because he just he wasn't into it anymore. Like he, he was a trained actor and he said, <clears throat> you know, this is not my passion. And that's basically what it came down to. So things like that, they uh, they come along and you just got to roll with the punches because you can't stop. Good. Well, I'm glad to have you guys all together here Absolutely. and talk about your latest you. project, your latest album, Goodbye to the Machine. You guys fill us in about just the process of it and the songwriting and just how it all came together. Songwriting's them two. And, and, well, everybody. No, it was everybody. I mean, it's it was a collaborative effort. Well, we kind of had, we were kind of pressed for time, so we kind of did it in like 30 days, which kind of put a lot of pressure on everyone to get a lot of good material and make sure the best stuff made it on the record. So we'd be up to like five in the morning working on music, and he'd be working on lyrics, and then we'd meet up the next day and kind of work on it for a couple hours. and kind of back and forth you know yeah. doing that and and we also pretty much changes up until the day we were recording it so yeah that's not really uh, you know the ideal circumstance but in today's music era you know that's pretty much what you got to do you got to hit, hit the ground running and thankfully the record doesn't sound like one that was written in a month or recorded in a month but um you know we just worked like dogs and i, I got really really sick during the process of it and there was just no choice i had to keep on working so um uh, yeah hopefully uh, hopefully people enjoy what we made any of the current experiences that occurred during the making of the album part of part of the songwriting and you guys have very very strong lyrics just like um, lead single wars what was some of the inspiration for some of the songs well that was sort of a multifaceted thing I mean we can start by saying I think anybody in the right mind would agree that war is a horrible thing right but at the same time uh, in my past I had worked for you know defense industry contracts and things like that and well, yeah, there you go. And I, I worked very, very long weeks and very hard to make sure that our, our boys and girls, you know, got the best weapons possible. And I was passionate about it, but at the same time, I was very disappointed in myself for, uh, you know, kind of having a hand in such a horrible, horrible thing. So, you know, I, I was kind of thinking about that, thinking about the conflict, and then uh, for some reason I was reading uh, the memoirs of Napoleon, and it, those things all three together just kind of clicked. And uh, that's when we wrote Wars. I mean, uh, I know at first a lot of a lot of people who perhaps weren't that interpretive of uh, of lyrics thought that it was a song bashing our soldiers. It, it could not be farther from the truth. But uh, you know, it's just a an unfortunate thing, and I I just kind of had to get it out there. And all I really wanted to do was ask for a moment of silence for all the people that have died through the years because, basically, of the perversion of love that we've done. 
I'm just going to bring back up the rave, as we talked about before. This is your sixth time playing here. So we, you guys talked about exploring the building a little bit, but do you have any good stories from any of the previous times playing here? Um, hmm. I'm personally a huge fan of the dressing rooms. <laughs> I, I got because they look like they were assembled by a hippie, and I love that. <laughs> I, I got, love that. I got one. Uh, I actually had an honest to God spinal tap moment in the Eagles ballroom there. When I was trying to uh, just hang out with some guys, I think it was from Stained at the time, I go up there and then I find out that there's a staircase that leads to nowhere. It just has an empty flat wall and then I'm stuck and I have to turn back around. So it was kind of kind of puzzling. I'm sitting there looking at an archway that's filled in, you know, there's... So he didn't met you on the top of the stairs and told you which way to go? <laughs> no, he was like, what are you doing here? I was like, I'm in hurt. Get out! Yeah, <laughs> yeah this place is huge. I, mean, yeah, I, is I was massive, walking around place. just earlier today and we went, like, what you were saying, we went down into, like, the boiler room. It's Creepsville, man. It's, like, straight out of a horror flick down there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back this later. building was built in 1926, I believe. I just want to see a ghost. I'm in we, for that. We keep looking for ghosts, but we never hey. see them. So anyway, every you, city we stop in, we go on a ghost hunt. <laughs> and was the other night we went to the uh, we're college. Dorks. Yeah, we are dorks. And uh, we went to some college, just all girls' school, and uh, saw some ghosts. Took some footage and the audio. We didn't see any ghosts. We, didn't see any. we also watch movies and try to line up Pink Floyd's The Wall with him. So far, nothing. <laughs> 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 nothing sinks up. So, so what's up next for Hurt? Global domination. <laughs> That's a real dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we're going to be on this tour for another long time. Oh I think till mid September. <laughs> and then uh, from there, I don't know. We'll probably stay on the road because this band pretty much always tours. We don't get much time off. so We don't yeah. like time off. We like to stay on the road and play. Yeah, th- <laughs> I think they can attest to the fact that uh, time off is not a good thing for me. No. Time's off just no. not good. No, I agree. P- time off, I don't, I'm not a fan. No. So, no. so more of the same. Right. Yeah. That's it. We'll be back we'll here again, I'm Sweet. sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for hanging out, you guys. Thank you very much, Linda. Thank you. Thanks for having for the show us. Thank later. you. All right. All right. See you then. Awesome. Thanks so much. All right. And thank you for watching The Rave TV. Make sure to check out Hertz's latest album, Goodbye to the Machine. We'll see you next time on The Rave TV.